All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we got some breaking news that now there is an eligible $4,000 new incentive on used Tesla vehicles. And now there's an exact list from the government, from fueleconomy.gov, where we can actually see which vehicles qualify for this $4,000 enhanced used tax credit for Tesla vehicles and really all all, all electric vehicles. Shout out to Paul Foss for sending the article and writing the article and actually even catching it. So thank you to that. But let's jump into it. Usually this is where I run my intro, but of course you can tell we are not at home. We are traveling. So thanks for watching everybody. My name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Hopefully the internet is looking good because it does not look to be going good, but hopefully the audio is good. So let us just jump into it. Shout out to Clean Technica, Paul Foster writing the article, breaking use Tesla Model 3 now eligible for the $4,000 used EV tax credit. And I'm going to give it up to Paul. He did a lot of sleuthing here, a lot of digging to figure out how this tax credit actually worked and where these changes have come into effect. So the first one is the IRS website changes. Of course, now instead of posting to this old page that didn't even have the vehicle on the website, now vehicles or now customers are pointed to fueleconomy.gov. This is the page on what it actually looks like. And here I've got it opened up as well. It seems to be a new used section where there's a lot of different tools on this site where you can take a look and put the correct information is. You can put in your sale price, but the TLDR is for this use EV tax credit, your sale price has to be under $25,000 and you must purchase the vehicle from a dealer. There's also some income limits on this as well. We can come and jump into it, but you can see from this list, there is a full list and there's a full list of vehicles with what year make and model that will actually qualify as well. And so you can see this list is pretty extensive. So this is going to do some interesting stuff to Towards demand, it's going to have this maybe this floor on especially the Model 3 because really, if a Model 3 is under $25,000, it really shouldn't be that much more under because it now qualifies for that $25,000 tax credit. And for those buyers that are out there that get that tax credit, it is certainly going to be a deal. So now you can see we can scroll to the Tesla section, we've got all the Tesla vehicles. And what's funny here, if you can get a Roadster for under $25,000, you can also get a four thousand dollar ev tax credit as long as you qualify as an individual yourself but We've got Model 3, we've got Model S, Model X, and also Model Y. There are certainly a bunch of different vehicles. If you qualify as an individual, you can qualify for that $4,000 incentive. And really, if you want an TLDR on how this tax credit actually works, here is the page on the used EV tax credit. So the quick one is you got to, you the maximum you can make, of course, this is modified adjusted gross income is $75,000 if you are a single person person, $112,000 or 112500 for head of households and $150,000 for married couples or married filing jointly or a surviving spouse. So really that is a pretty low threshold. So, I mean, but at the same time, if you're making under $75,000, you really have two options, right? You can buy a new Tesla vehicle where if you're, if you're right at that $75,000 mark, you might not get the full 7,500 federal tax credit on a new one, but on and under $75,000, you can get the $4,000 incentive on a used one, which it tomatoes, tomatoes, right? I'm not sure if it's actually worth it to buy a used one because it's an older vehicle, not probably not as much warranty. And I would really just say, get a new one because it's it's going to be what two to three years newer maybe even four years newer and it just doesn't make and you'll probably get a better financing on top of that but the credit that works on both of these vehicles both used and new is a tesla referral link just like the one down below in the description because if you're looking to get an extra discount on inventory of vehicles that are brand new you can get 500 to a thousand dollars off a model 3 model y s or even x so definitely check it out tesla referral link down below in the description and thank you to everybody that's used our tesla referral link in the past and in the future but really cool stuff. Tesla has now also updated their website on top of it. So a bunch of different updates across the board for this used Tesla 
or used EV incentive. So you can see it yourself on the Tesla website. There is a section that goes over the used EV tax credit. And it's basically the same thing that we've already gone over. Uh, and of course, they've added a model year on top of that. And what's funny here is they put this order model three or order model Y. So even Tesla themselves, they are trying to convert people from a used to new. And that just makes a lot of sense at the end. They want to sell new vehicles and not so much used one. But now, you know, of course, the question is, are the these prices for the Tesla Model 3 even that much cheaper? Are we getting for the used Model 3s in that $25,000 ballpark range? And that's a really good question because, you know, of course, Tesla vehicles have dropped dramatically in the past year in terms of Tesla retail prices for the used side. You can see year over year from this Car Guru's price trend chart that we've got 30, 34%, 39% uh, price drops year over year in terms of retail list price. The Model 3 specific has gone down 36% year over year. So it's lost, what, more than a third of its value in one year? Pretty insane, uh, that's for sure. But now the question is, okay, of course, there's this EV incentive. You got to look at opportunity costs, right? If you're going to be spending a vehicle or spending your money on a used vehicle or spending your money on a new vehicle, let's try and find, like, is there even Tesla Model 3s? Like, what's the lowest price out there? It's got to be from a dealer. It can't probably be, I don't know if it could be salvage or not, but what the, you know, what is the best possible deal? So you can see right here, Model 3 uh, all across the entire country if we're searching nationwide, lowest price. That's how I shop for vehicles, especially used vehicles. I go to cars.com. I go to really all the websites sites and I search low to high and you can see the cheapest model three. I'm not sure how, what the condition on this one, because 900 going up to 22,999. This one seems like a reputable dealer. This one, I don't know, 23,899. And what's interesting here is there's a lot of different Tesla model threes in that price range. And of course they're all holding in that mid to low, mid to low $20,000 because these people know these dealers, I mean, hopefully they're smart. They know that there is a EV tax credit on these vehicles, and so the customers are going to be willing to pay up to 25000 So there really could be a market. There could be a hustle here or some sort of business plan where, you know, these vehicles that they'll always just sell in that $25,000 range. But maybe at the same time, uh, we have to see how customers take effect on this because the tax credit, we got to be honest, the tax credit both on the new and the used side is pretty confusing for most. And so maybe they might not understand it and it might just be easier. It might just be a cleaner process. I have to deal with a used vehicle and just buy a new one. But at the same time, the flip side to that is fine financing on a new vehicle can get expensive, tough, and you need a good credit or a lot of money down. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Shout out to Paul Foss and Clean Technica for posting this article and breaking it. I don't think I've seen it anywhere else, but yes, now the $4,000 used EV tax credit is eligible on Tesla vehicles uh, with, of course, in certain ranges based upon year and make and of course, price is the most important part. Uh, so definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually supposed to be my Patreon link. Download the description's Patreon link. We just want the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description.